Shalom. Hey, he's starting out taking pictures. iPhone. iPhone love to take pictures of you. But yeah. It is what it is. Taking up pictures, taking pictures. Hey, make sure y'all get the good side. All right. All right, we're gonna start it off by giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. myself a little time to set up but through the spirit you know camera start recording so I'm gonna let it let it all play out like that uh, <clears throat> let's get the first book Woo, this is uh we're gonna start out with the book of uh Ecclesiasticus, or the better known as the book of Sirach, chapter 35. And we're going to jump around. We're going to start at the first, uh, uh, at the first verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 35 and verse 1. It says, He that keepeth the law bringeth offering enough. He that taketh heed to the commandment off of their peace offering. And this is talking to the Israelites, man, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? Uh, verse two, he that required a good turn offering, fine flour, and he that giveth alms, sacrifice praise. Okay? So, you know, this is just going into, uh, you know, the different uh, things that the Israelites are supposed to do, right? Wind kind of blowing kind of heavy out here, so. Uh, let's see. We're gonna grab everything and put it on top of these uh, signs here. jump down to the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 35 we're still in uh, let's read on down verse 3 it says to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord and to fake unrighteousness is a uh, proper representation you see and and that kind of remind me of the scripture uh, that says uh, you know when you uh uh, when you uh, uh, you know turn your life from wickedness to righteousness, hey, you make yourself a prey, and that's the, you know just just letting you know what type of kingdom we in. We living in an unrighteous uh, you know uh, uh, kingdom that uh, pushes unrighteous decrees. You see, verse four it says, "Thus thou shalt not appear empty before the Lord." Okay, meaning that you know uh, uh, you gotta uh, be in this truth, man, with understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. And how do you get wisdom and knowledge? According to the scriptures, is by praying. You pray. You ask the Lord for wisdom and knowledge. Okay. Verse four. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can grab uh, that precept. Uh, I believe it's a. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I think it's going to pray for wisdom and knowledge. Uh, 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 it says wisdom, I think it's good. Pray for wisdom. Yeah, 
James chapter 1, verse 5. Let's see. Right there. Book of James, chapter 1, and uh, verse 5. Let's see if we can grab that. I've been better off just getting it out of the, uh, you know, just getting it out of the, uh, the phone, which would have made it much easier, but try to get it out of the book. But let's just go ahead and get it out of the It's the uh, book of James, chapter one, verse five. It says, "If any of you like wisdom, let him ask for the let him ask of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally and unbraided not, and it shall be given to him." Okay, given him. All right. Hey, you know them Greeks conquered our people back in the day, don't they? Yes, sir. Hey, we gotta let that Greek go. <laughs> but it's all up to the person. All right. Okay. Did, did, did you hear that? Let's uh, let's see if we can. Uh, okay. The wind's kind of high, so Lord willing, you know we stay we stay afloat as far as uh the camera not blowing over. In order to get wisdom and knowledge, you have to pray for it. All right? And the Lord gives that to the demand of, uh, you know, of truth and understanding. All right? Verse 5, it says, For all these things are to be done because of the uh, commandments. You see? And, and that's, a, uh, that, that's clear. Okay? Verse 6, The offering of the righteous make it the altar fat and sweet savors thereof is before the most high you see make the altar fat man you see <clears throat> and that's what we all want right uh, so you see the understanding now this this, this book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 35 it goes into a, uh, what you're supposed to do. It's kind of like, you know, kind of reminds me of the book of De uh, Deuteronomy versus uh, chapter 28. You know, the, uh, the first part, I guess, one through five will tell you, you know, uh, the goodness or the fatness of Yahweh Shimei Abshai that will give you if you, uh, you know, uh, keep the commandments. And uh, from 16 on down, to tell you uh, what, what will happen if you don't keep these commands. Okay, uh, so let's jump, jump down to the verse uh, verse 13. It said, he would not accept any person against a poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. And you know the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American are the oppressed, you know, here in America, man. Okay, so the Most High is gonna hear the, uh, uh, hear, the prayer, hear the prayers of the oppressed, man. Okay. Verse 14. It said he would not despise the supplications of the fatherless, nor the widow when she uh, poureth out her complaint. So, hey, as a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child, you're supposed to be in these scriptures, man. You see, the Most High said he hear the prayers of the oppressed, man. You know? And no other nation of people have been oppressed than you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, man, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Starting with the so-called Negroes. No other nation have been oppressed like Negroes, man, okay? You know, and they, you know, these Edomites, they so proud 
you know, they put it all, they make movies out of it. You being oppressed by them, man. You know? And then you have some of them, you know, they say, uh, what they, they'll say that, uh, you know, uh, people should get treated like that and so on and so forth. You know? <clears throat> uh, you know, trying to make a, uh, a, 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 you know, trying to make an atonement for themselves. Okay? Verse 15, it says, Do not the tears run down the widow's cheeks, and is not her cry against him that caused them to fall? Yeah. You know, and you can see that back in the, uh, you know, the times of the, uh, you know, uh, the hardcore slavery, the, the, the bondage, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the yoke around the so-called Negro's neck, man, you know, throughout the movies, man. It's, it's shown, that's, you know, that's show you how proud these Edomites are, man. They are in a proud state, man, you know. And referring to back to the book of Job, man, he said he only have a, but a appointed, he, his time is appointed, man. So let's grab that, man, in the book of Job. Okay? So I'm going to let you know where well, the scripture is going to let you know how the most high allowed it. The most high uh, God, uh, or whoever you want to call him, that which God is just the title. God is not the name of the heavenly father, man. Okay? He's a balanced power, man. He allows these things to happen. You see, according to his will. Okay, this is the book of Job, chapter 14, and verse, verse 5. We're going to go straight to the point. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his vows that he cannot pass. See, and it's talking to the Edomite, the so called white man. You see, the Lord allowed so called white man and the rest of the nations to put us in subjection, man, uh, because of our unrighteous doings, man. Because we didn't want to keep the uh, statute, laws, and commandments of our Lord, man. You see? And throughout, uh, you know, <clears throat> the time that we've been here, all we have done was uh, 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 follow the nations, man. You know? When the Lord made the Israelites, uh, uh, you know, holy. And you go into that word holy. Holy is uh, separate, man. So the Most High made the Israelites, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans separate, man. You see? But starting with the elites that run the earth, you know, the elite bankers, you know, they made it to, they split us up, man, <clears throat> thinking, uh, got us thinking that we're all different. When I say all, I'm talking about, you know, the tribes, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which we all come out of one lineage. <clears throat> We all come through the, Abraham, uh, the, uh, the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? Let's read that one more time. The book of Job, chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee. So the Most High is going to only let these Edomites run the world for a, 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 a short a period of time, man. You see? When the Lord is going to give the Israelites so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, rulership over the earth forever, man. Forever. Forever, ever. <laughs> forever, ever. Okay? All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's, let's go to uh, Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter, I think, 9. I'm looking for, uh, okay. This is uh, <clears throat> the book of Daniel, chapter 7. And uh, verse 18, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. See, the Most High is going to give the saints the kingdom, man. Now, the saints are not every nation of people. The saints are known in the scriptures as the Israelites, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You see? That's who the saints are, man. So let's prove that. We're gonna go to the book of Psalms, which is all throughout the scriptures. But uh you know uh Apostle uh Gabar went over this uh a few days ago. Okay. 
So we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 149, I believe. The book of Psalms, chapter 149. Uh, let's see. Is it 147 or 149? Let's start at, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, Psalms, the book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. It said, he, he also exalted his horn of his people and praises of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. See, that's letting you know who the saints are. The saints are you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. No other nation of people can be saints, man. Okay? Regardless what you uh, 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 lied to in the scriptures, man. Okay? And, hey, all you got to do is, like the scripture said, blessed is he that read it, man. If you read these scriptures with true understanding, you know, you, you, you know what it is. You know? So for the rest of the uh, nations that use these scriptures, the Lord didn't make the Bible for the rest of these nations, man. The so-called white man don't understand the Bible. The so-called Japanese or Chinese man don't know this Bible, man. Okay? All the other, all the uh, uh, Arabs, they don't know this Bible, man. You see? All the nations that try to put the covenant in their mouth, the Lord said, what has thou to do to put thy covenant in thy mouth, man? Hey, these, these scriptures are not for no other nation but for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The so-called white man don't know these Bible, man. He don't understand it. He can read it a thousand times, but the Lord allowed him to get a little understanding, but not of understanding of, you know, uh, you know, uh, clarity, of uh, uh, truth and understanding and knowledge that the Israelites are in this Bible are God's chosen people, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. No other nation can be saints but the children of Israel, okay? And the Lord is only dealing with the elect, man, at this time around. Out of all of our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Lord has only chosen the elect, man. It's a small remnant, man, a third that the Lord is going to deal with. And two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans will be cut down, man, you see, by slaughter or... or, or, or uh, by the missiles, man. You see? And that's the true lake of fire, man. The lake of fire would be here in Babylon the Great, man, which is known as America, man. You know? Hell is not, you know, a, a, a burning. That lake of fire would be here in America, man. Why would the lake of fire be here in America? Because of the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, had to serve captivity here. You see? This is, hey, America is, for the, is the land of our captivity. This is for us to serve our, 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 our punishment, man. It's to serve out your punishment, and I mean you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are serving out your punishment here in America, man. The Lord has set it up like that. You see? This is where our punishment is being served out at. Okay? Uh... Uh, let's go with the, uh, the book of Psalms. We stay in the book of Psalms 147 and verse 19. Woo, well, verse 18, it says, He sent it out his word and melted them. He caused it his wind to blow and his waters to flow. Okay? And how would the Lord melt them? Through uh, ICPM missiles, intercontinentalistic missiles, man. See, the Lord is going to judge as well as uh, 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 allow a, a remnant of our people to be saved in these last times, man. These, and this is the what? Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, the new year, as they call it. Okay? Like I normally started off with the, the date and all that, but I, uh, it's a lot you for that. You know, today is Sunday, January the 2nd, 2022. The year of the turn up. <laughs> you know? And, and, and you know, and, and we grateful hey, hey, you know for that man, that understanding of that. Okay. 
says no other nation, man. Okay. Let's go back to uh, Ecclesiastes, a bit of the book of Sirach, uh chapter 35 and verse... Uh, Uh, what did I stop off at? Uh, okay, verse 15. Verse 16. I said, He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach into the cloud. You see? The Lord is going to accept the prayer of the righteous, man, or, or that remnant, the elect. Verse 16, it says, He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach into the clouds. You know, that's what we all pray for, man. We, what we want our prayers to reach to the Lord, man. Uh, our Father. Okay? Yeah, we want our prayers to reach the Lord, man. And, and you know, right now, no one is really praying like uh, we're supposed to, man. But when... Uh, all hell breaks loose. Everybody is going to be praying. But then it might be too late. Okay? So right now is your time to pray. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And ask the Lord for a, a true understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, man. You know, not, a, not according to what's going on in the church. Because the church is set up to keep you Negroes asleep, man. You see? Pass the tray around. You see? Hey, Lord ain't dealing with nothing like that, man. You see? And a lot of people are going to see that when that when the end comes, man. You better pray that it's not too late. You see? Right now, the, uh, uh, I'm, we out here, we don't pray for, we don't even ask for no money, man. We don't pray and ask for money from uh, the congregation of the church, man. Which is the church is right here, man. Okay? We don't do that, man, because the Lord gives our rewards, man. Okay? Uh, uh, the Lord, you how it, man. Bashim Yabashah gives, you know, the men of the Lord of his servants their reward, man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 16, let's read that one more time. It says, he that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor. You see? And that's what we do out here, man. We serve the Lord, man. You see? And how else do we serve? We serve him by, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, being honest, man, and, and, and a man of, of integrity concerning the scriptures. Okay? We don't do the, the things that uh, the world does, man. You know, the world tells you you can do anything, man. And our people out here are, 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 are believing what the world tells them they can do, man. You see? That's, hey, that's why the, the Lord said to deceive and to deceive our heels, man. Okay? If you being deceived by people, man, hey, there's still no, uh, uh, no, no, you know, you, you know, if you being deceived by a person and you, uh, 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 if you know the truth, man, or even if you don't know the truth, you know, you're just being docile, man, and simple, man. The Lord still is going to, he's still going to punish you, man. All right. Okay. All right, reading on. Verse 17. It says, uh, The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Woo! And that's what, hey, and that's how we live our life, man. Being humble, man. Man, that's beautiful, man. It says, The prayer of the humble, humble pierces the clouds until it come nigh. He would not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold the judge to judge the righteously and execute judgment. Woo, Lord have mercy. Woo, Baraka Thumb Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, man, that's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Definitely have to read that again. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 35, and verse 17. It says, The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold 
to judge righteously and execute judgment. Wow. That's what we praying for this devil to come go down, man. You know, this is our this is our prayer, man. We praying to your house by Shimi out of shot. We pray to your house by Shimi out of shot, Lord. We pray. We Barack thumb your house by Shimi out of shot. You see? Call a lot, your lot, your house by Shimi out of shot to take this devil down. You know? And in the midst of taking him down, Lord, please don't forget your mercy. You know? That's our true prayer, man. You see? That's the prayer, man, of the humble, man, and the needy. Okay? Verse 18, it says, For the Lord would not be slack, neither would the mighty be patient toward him, toward them. Ooh, let's read that again. Verse 18, it says, For the Lord would not be slack, neither would the mighty be patient toward them. Towards who? The our oppressor, man. Okay? It says, uh, till he have spitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful. Hey, man. Woo-wee. Barack and Thumb, you how about Shimmy Abishai? It says, and repay vengeance to the heathen. <laughs> Who's the heathen, man? All the nations that are not Israelites, man, are the heathens. You know, you got uh, uh, Israelites that look like the nation that they were scattered to, man. The Lord said he was going to scatter the Israelites through the four corners of the earth. And you're going to have Israelites that look like whatever nation they were scattered to. Okay? So all nations, so all Israelites don't look like uh, uh, so-called Negroes, man. They all have, you know, you know, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, what makes an Israelite is the progenitor of the father. You come through the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay? All right? It says, uh, till he have taken away the multitude of the proud. You see? The Lord is coming back, man, to take that, uh, 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 to destroy the, uh, the proud, man. Okay? And put the humble in, a, in, 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 in uh, over the nations, man. It says, uh, and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. And that's what the world is ruled, man. Over the unrighteous ruled the earth, man. So the Lord said, Oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said he's going to break the scepter of the unrighteous, man. Okay? This, hey, we live in an in unrighteous uh, 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 rulership, man. You see? And, and you know, the people that rule the uh, central bankers that rule the earth. You know, they know, you know, that the Lord is going to uh, bring them down, man. They know that the Lord is going to bring them down. They know they only have but a short time, okay? So what this devil's going to do, he's going to come with uh, 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 with great force, man, okay? And he's gonna definitely going to lock a lot of people up for, 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 you know, not taking the jab and all this other stuff, man. The Lord is, that's why the Lord is coming back, man. To destroy this devil, man. Let's read on. It says, And repay vengeance to the heathen till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. Meaning that the scepter is going to being like a king or a ruler. You see? The ruler is only going to rule for, for such a short time, man. You see? These wicked uh, uh, devils only... Hey, hey, they only been ruling but a short time, man. That's why the Lord is coming back, man, to take the scepter of the unrighteous, man. Okay? Verse 19, it says, Till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds. Now, how would you render, you know, to every man according to his deeds on how he is, man, as a person? Because us, as the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, we have a, a, a agenda, man. We have a way we supposed to act, man. Because everything that's in these scriptures are, 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 are of, the, of, of the Lord. This is the way we supposed to, you know, uh, uh, carry ourselves, man. Of men and integrity, man. We supposed to carry ourselves with, you know, dignity, man. You see? All right. 
Verse 19, it says, Till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds, and to the works of men according to their uh, devices. You know, and you know, and now, and that goes into that uh, uh, the wicked devices of the, the crafty devices of the wicked man. You see, the so-called white man has 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 uh, 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 you know have wicked devices, man, against the Israelites, man, against you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Regardless on if you believe it or not, man. You see, history shows how the so-called white man has done, uh, 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 how he has done our people, man. You know. And it's the time is coming where the Lord is going to put the spirit in the earth to have, you know, a race war break out, man. There's going to be a famine of food and water, you see? And it's going to be a famine of this word because the Lord is going to allow, you know, uh, uh, this word to come out for so long. And then he's going to take them, his servants off of the streets, man. You see? That's why we tell you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what you're supposed to do as a man of the Lord, man. You see? Like the Lord said, his sheep will hear his voice. Okay? And that's talking about the remnant. Uh, let's read that again. Verse 19. That says, till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds, and to the work of every man according to their devices. You know, the, the devices of the uh, uh, the so-called, uh, uh, the, the devices of the so-called white man has been wicked. So the Lord is gonna render judgment, man. Okay. All right, uh, that's, uh, it says, till he have judged the cause of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. And who's the Lord's people, man? We just told you that the Lord's people are the Israelites. The Lord's people are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay? That's who the Lord's people are, man. The Lord's people are no other then you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord's people are not every nation, man. You see? Even in our uh, uh, downtrodden position or state, we still doing good, man, because the Lord blessing us, man, to be, uh, you know, to be able to have a roof over our house and uh, heat, man, at this time, man, because the times are coming, or uh, uh, air, or whatever, but the times are coming, man, the Lord is, is definitely going to, you know, uh, uh, try uh, uh, put us through the, uh, uh, the fire, man. Gonna try the men of the Lord, and, 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 and two thirds are not gonna, uh, you know, they're not gonna, uh, 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 gonna prevail. You know, some will until you know the missiles come. You know, hey, judgment is going throughout the earth. And I see that's why you know. Uh, 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 our apostle Tahar man has a uh, name a uh, uh, coin this year as the uh, the turn up man. Cause hey, it's about to turn up man. Because this devil know he only have but a short time. Okay. Uh, so let's read the rest of this and then we go jump off. It says mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction. As clouds of rain in the time of the drought. Yeah. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction, man. Hey, man. Hey, that's what everybody's going to be praying for, man. In the time to come, man. For that mercy, man. Okay. Uh. Malachi. Uh, Michael. Might be Malachi. Let's see.
This is the book of Malachi. This is the book of Malachi chapter 3. Malachi, the book of Malachi chapter 3. Let's start at uh, chapter, let's start at chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Shah of hosts. It says, But who may abide the day of his coming? Now, who shall abide in the day of his coming? Okay? All right? Uh, it says, uh, But who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeared? For he is like a refiner, the refiner's fire, and like full of soap. And that refining fire is like, it's, uh, you know, that's the test of, uh, you know, purification out of the men of the Lord. The men of the Lord are gonna get tested in these uh, end times too, man. You know, and that refiner is like purifying and, and, you know, purging the impurities out, man. You see? And that's that's what the Lord is gonna put us there through, man. You see? That's what faith come in. That's what the Lord is gonna try our faith, man. You see? Because this devil is going to come down with great wrath. You see? And that great wrath is uh, anything, you know, concerning, you know, uh, uh, wickedness, man. You see? When this devil comes down with great wrath, you know, a lot of people are going to see and, under and understand what the Lord was talking about. But then it might be too late, man. You see? People always, you know, uh, you know, our people are always, you know, big procrastinators. You see, when this devil come down, and I'm ta not talking about the spiritual devil, I'm talking about the so-called white man. When this so-called white man comes down on you Negroes, man, you all gonna understand and see. But then you better pray and hope that it's not too late, man. Okay, let's read that again. The book of Malachi chapter three, and verse two, it says, but who, may abide in the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeared for he is like a refiner refiner's fire like full of soap so it never like we were saying that refiner fire man that the refiner is uh yahweh man by shimi and they're full of soap man it's to cleanse man all right verse three and he shall sit as a refiner and purified of the silver Ooh, let's read that again. Verse th uh, of Malachi, the book of Malachi, chapter three, and verse three. It says, "He shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, and they shall offer unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Avishai an offering of righteousness." And the the, the, uh, the Levite, the sons of Levi, is really going into the, you know the priesthood. Now the Lord has made all the uh, has made all the tribes the priesthood. You see, so you're gonna have uh, uh, Judah out here. You're gonna have uh, Benjamin, Levi, definitely. You know, Simeon, Zebulun, Ephraim, Manasseh, and Gad. You know, Reuben. Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar are prophesying, man, as being the priesthood that the Lord is, you know, uh, going to refine, man. Okay? Verse 4. It says, Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord Yahweh, by Shemi Abishai, as in the day of old, and as the, in the former years. You know? And the Lord is going to put Ephraim, and, uh, 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 and Judah back together, man. The, the, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom are going to squash the beef, man. Because the spirit of the Lord is going to be on them to get back together, man. 
You see, it won't be no separation or, or, or the so-called white man uh, uh, splitting us up, man. You see? And that time, man, we ain't going to be paying no more bills, man. We're going to have slaves, man. Okay? No matter how ironic that may sound to some of you, man. Now, that's like the apostle said, man. Those are true riches, man. All right? Well, that's referring to the scriptures. All right? Verse 5, it says, And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be swift. Be I will be a swift witness against the scorners, and against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling, oppress the hireling in his wages. You see? Yeah, that's what the Lord is going to do, man. All right? It says, uh, the widow and the fatherless, and he that turneth aside the stranger from his right, and to fear me not, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shemiah Shav host. You see, the Lord is going to definitely be judging a lot of people at these times that's coming, man. You see? Hey, that's what the judgment of the Lord is all about, man. You see? The Lord is coming back not to uh, uh, gather all nations, man. Only the remnant, man, of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? And people, uh, uh, you know, they come up against this truth not understanding, man. Like we say, blessed he that read it, man. Okay? Blessed he that read it. That's where you're going to get truth, knowledge, and understanding of, right? Read it on. Verse, uh, verse 6, it says, For I am the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh changed not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord said he changed not, man. Okay? The things that he, uh, uh, his word should not go out void, man. So the Lord says a thing, man, and he means it, man. Okay? All right, uh. Let's see. This is uh, the book of Second Corinthians, uh, uh, chapter ten. Let's start at verse one. It says, "Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of the Mashiach." Whom in the present I am, uh, I am, says I am based among you, but being absent, I am boldly, I am bold towards you. But I beseech you, and that means and when he said beseech, that means I beg you, right? That I may not behold, may, may, that I may be bold when I am present with the confidence wherein with I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? So that means, you know, you don't give in on uh, uh, your fleshly wants or lust. You see? Because the flesh is the, the whole battle, man. You are the whole battle, man. You see? You see, if you battle against the flesh, man, hey, that's the whole war, man. Okay. Uh, verse, verse four. It says, "Though it says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, meaning I do this. Hey, this is not a carnal war, man. Okay, the Lord is gonna handle all of that. Uh, but mighty through the Most High to pulling down the strongholds, and the strongholds are what the strongholds goes into, you know, uh, uh these different uh." Things that uh, that the Lord allowed the wicked to uh, uh, portray it against us, man. Uh, not us, but yeah, you know, I can say, but some of us have been woken up through the Spirit, man. Okay? It says, uh, 
and the church is a big stronghold, man. Okay? The church is a ma major stronghold against all the nations. Well, uh, against our people, man. It's a lucky for that. You know, it's a stronghold, man. Verse 5, casting down imagination, every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high. And they, hey, and that's what people do, man. Even even the so-called Negroes in these churches, man. They exalting themselves against, you know, uh, uh, our power, man. All right? It says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Mashiach. You see? And that's how we supposed to be, man. Uh, well, well, that's what we lean upon, should I say. All right? Uh... uh Let's go to uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter thirty-six and verse thirty-one. It says, "Then shall ye remember your own." Well, let's start up a little bit. Verse verse twenty-nine. Ezekiel thirty, chapter thirty-six and twenty-nine. It says, I will also save you from all your uncleanliness, and I will call for the corn, and I will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. Verse 30, and I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the in increase of the field, that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Okay? And, you know, that's... uh. uh that was back in the, uh, the time where uh, the Israelites were, uh, you know, uh, being oppressed, man, by the heat, which same thing is happening now. Verse 31, then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your own abominations. And that was, you know, talking to the evil, uh, 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 Israelites, the evil so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. Okay? Uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. Uh, and verse 7. It says, so I prophesy as I was commanded. So the Lord, the men of the Lord prophesy out on the street corners as the Lord commanded, man. The Lord commands, you know, his servants to do these things, man. You see? And people get it all uh, misconstrued that the men of the Lord are inside of these churches, man. You know? The men of the Lord always been, uh, you know, uh, Hardcore man, we we don't go in this we don't go into the uh the churches man. You know, I, I hey this is the church right here, man. You see? This is the church. The church, like the scripture said, the Lord said he does he don't dwell in temples built with hands, man. You see? That's why you see these and, and you know and the women, man, are mainly the uh the, the whole congregation. You see, the congregation inside of these temples are, are mainly 95% women. You see? And why is that, man? That's because the woman is lack of faith, man. Women, women usually have the, 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 the most lack of faith, man. That's why you see these uh, different temples, man, of churches, man, that are full of, of women, man. You see? Ezekiel 37 and verse 7 so it says I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone and this is going into how the Israelites start to wake up from their docile state man the so called uh, Negro Hispanic and Native Americans start to wake up man the Lord put the spirit on 
you know, uh, the men, uh, 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 different men, you know, to wake up with this truth, man, uh, uh, and understand it, okay? That's what the Lord had done, man. It says, uh, it says, when I beheld, and it said, beheld, lo, the sins knew, and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these, uh, these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as, I, as, as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. And that's what? That's the 144,000, man, that the Lord brought back, man. The Lord I, I, I put that breath back into men, man, to allow them to know and understand what the... Uh, 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 this truth, man, it's like uh, the night of the living dead that the Lord put the breath to bring the, the men of the Lord out of that, that dead state, man. Okay? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse uh, verse 8. It says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. You know, and, and the name is very uh, uh, important, man. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, is a very important man. Okay? In these later, later times, you're going to know and understand it. But, hey, the Lord said, you know, uh, uh, those, he's, he's going to act like he never knew thee, man. Because he didn't, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, 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 repent, you know, before the time came, man. This is, this is like a spiritual art, man. Okay. Verse 9, it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Now, who say that they are the true Jews, man? The so-called uh, 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 Jewish, you know, the Lord said he's going to make them as the synagogue of Satan, man, which he's going to reveal to you know, uh, the earth of the world, who the Jews are, man. The true Jews are you so-called Negroes, man, from the tribe of Judah, man. Okay? We are God's chosen people, man. Ain't no other nation God's chosen people but you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. There's no, hey, and we are the true Jews, man, but we just in a dry, downtrodden state right now, man. Why we in the downtrodden state? We poor, homeless you know, begging with our hands out, man, because why? We 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 started to uh we we punish we being punished right now. Why are we being punished? Because we broke the statutes, laws, and commandments, the covenant that the Lord has for us, man. You know? Our forefathers has done that. So now it's time for us to return, man. It's time for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to return, man. Return to this truth, man. You see, the truth is right here, man. This is the church. The Lord said he doesn't dwell in temples built with hands, man. So why are, these, well, so why are the church houses full of women, man? Laden, these, laden with iniquity, man. You see? And when the Lord put the famine of the word out, the men of the Lord won't be out on the street corner. And there's going to be people that come up and be looking for the men of the Lord to... to, to for us, for them. they gonna wonder what, what should they do in these times, man. What they, they gonna wonder, what, 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 what we gonna do, man? It's, it's, it's getting bad out here for us, man. You see? It'll be too late then, man. This is a spiritual art, man. You see? Reading on. Okay? 
It says uh, because it's, let's read that again, verse nine. It says, "Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not." You see, the so-called white man over in Israel saying he the Jew, he ain't the true Jew, man. You see, now you got you will have some Jews over there, you know, uh, uh, that's from the uh, lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But for a whole man, hey, who's running that place are not the true Jews, man. You so-called Negroes are the true Jews, man, from the tribe of Judah, man. Okay? It said, uh, it says, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. See? The Lord is going to make them, uh, uh, them gutter rats over in Israel to worship before our feet, man. The Lord is going to make them gutter rats over there to worship before our feet, man. You know, how beautiful is that, man? That's mean the Lord is going to uh, 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 gonna put us in rulership, man. He's going to put the Israelites in rulership, man, over all nations, man. You know, starting with the chief house of Edom, man. You see, those people are going to worship at the feet of the Israelites, man. And everything of being the... Uh, in, uh, in subjection, you see, under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the Israelites, man. You see? All right, read it on. Verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will, may, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, what's the hour of temptation? The hour of temptation is when the microchip is being mandated, man. Right now they mandating, well, they hadn't fully mandated, but they're gonna fully mandate this jab, man. You see? Saying that you won't be able to work unless you get this thing, man. You see? But that's 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 not the uh that's not the MOV. That's not the mark, but the mark is gonna come, man. That's the hour of temptation, man. That this microchip would be mandated. You see? Let's read on. It says, uh, it says, because thou had kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which which shall come upon all the world to try them to dwell that dwell upon the earth. See, the Lord is gonna uh, 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 allow the uh, uh, these elite bankers to implement that mark man and see the lord said he's gonna uh keep us from the hour of temptation man you see and i ain't talking about this hey when we come out and prophesy out on the street corner it has nothing to do with churches man the church don't have this truth man the church gonna tell you negroes hispanics and native americans hey just put some, your tide in the uh in the uh, tide plate and the lord is gonna bless you man come on man you got to be a, have much more knowledge and understanding that it's bigger than that, man. You see? What the Lord want with money, man? A paper, uh, a, FL, uh, uh, a Federal Reserve note. You know? The Lord said money is, a, you know, it's an offense. You see? But the Lord don't need it, man. The Lord don't need these things, man. The Lord needs your, your obedience, man, according to him. <coughs> Verse 11, it says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So we supposed to hold what we have, this truth, man, so no man will take thy crown. Okay? We supposed to hold on to this truth and understanding, man. Okay? And, that, and that's really, that's going to you, the, the men that the Lord brung into this truth, man. Okay? It says, hold on to what thou hast, you know, that no man take thy crown, man. And that's deeper than what the church will tell you, man. You see? We come out and prophesy the truth, the true truth, man, or what what well, prophecy that's got unfolded, man. All right, reading on. It says, uh, verse 12, 
that says, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. The temple of my power, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem. And, you know, hey, and how is that going to happen? That's going to happen by uh, the Lord. Uh, uh, that's, that's true salvation, basically. Okay? Because no one is, uh, uh, has salvation right now. No one is being saved right now, man. You see? You see, we, hey, we, we working on it, man. You know? Hey, we pray that the Lord don't take the uh, Holy Spirit away from us, man. Basically, okay? This is what, it's, this, this, is what this is going into. Not to let no man take that crown. You know? Read on. It says, New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of the heavens from my power, and I will write upon, I will write upon him uh, my new name. And that's the and that's the Lord is changing. Changing us, man. You see, changing in the twinkling of an eye. And New Jerusalem is the uh that new that new man, that new body that the Lord is gonna bestow upon the uh uh you know that remnant, man. That 144,000. Okay. It said, he that had an ear, let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches, man. You see? And this is the real church, man. All right, let's uh. This is Jude chapter five and verse uh, 15. It says to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed of their uh, hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. You see? And reading on it says these are murmurers, complainers walking after their own lust. You see? And that's, hey, that's not the spirit of a man or the Lord, man. We don't walk after our own lust. You see? Hey, and a man ain't supposed to have long hair, man. A man that has long hair is against you. How about she me outside, man? You see? Long hair is for women, man. That's, hey, that's the glory of a woman, man. <laughs> a man ain't supposed to walk around with no long hair, man. Okay? All right, uh... All right, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to he has done, whether it be good or bad. So, hey, the Lord is going to allow every man to sit in front of stand in front of the judgment seat of y'all by shooting y'all shot. Okay. Uh. Yeah. All right, this is the book of uh, Galatians chapter 3, no, chapter 4. It says, now I say that the, the, that the heirs, as long as he is a, a child, uh, different nothing from a servant, though he be, uh, he be Lord of all. 
but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. It says, even, even so we, when we're children, were in bondage under the elements of the world, but when the fullness of the time that was, was come, the Most High sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law. So, hey, really I was trying to get to that, uh, the other scripture, but hey man, so it, it's showing you that the man, the, hey, uh, uh, our Lord is made uh, about man and a woman, man. Okay? So, uh, uh, two men uh, having uh, intercourse is, 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 is ungodly, man. You see? That's how uh, uh, that's how a lot of people are going to get, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a judgment, man. Going to come down on a lot of people because of the wickedness, man. You see? Of this man uh, uh, creating, uh, uh, you know, uh, these different un 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 decree uh, uh, bad decrees, man. Okay? Uh, unrighteous decrees, should I say. Verse 5, to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoptions of sons. See? And this, hey, this is uh, what uh, Yahweh Shimei shot is set up, man, for us to... Uh, uh, this is uh, our uh, form of salvation that the Lord has uh, sacrificed, you know, uh, uh, through the only uh, begotten Son, man. Okay. All right. Uh, and He did walk the earth. He comes from a man and a woman. A woman. It's a lot. Uh, uh, Galatians chapter six, no, chapter five. It says, chapter 5 and verse 16, it says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, a lot of, and, and that's the majority of uh, 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 the judgment going to come through that, man, because of people fulfilling the lust of their flesh, man. Okay. Verse 17, it says, For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So the flesh is the battle, man. Okay? Mainly for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's the whole battle. Verse 18, it says, But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of this flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, veritance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, and heresies, envying, envying murders, drunkenness, reveliness, and all and such like. And, all, and, and these are these are things that uh, our people go off on, man. You see? Uh, it says, of the, of, of the which I tell you before I have also told you in the time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Meaning that, you know, uh, 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 the, 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 the second death, man, uh, you won't be, that's how salvation, that's when salvation is going to gonna come man no one knows if they're gonna be saved until they be in their chariot man okay uh galatians chapter 6 and verse 7 it says be not deceived the most high is not marked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap for he that soweth to the flesh shall be of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting, man. And that's talking to the elect, man. Because the Lord is not going to save every nation of people. And, and, and even out of the nation of the people that he's, he rendered his own, man. Which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the true Israelites. You see? And, and, and out of that nation, man, the people, the Lord is only 
uh, 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 saving a remnant of his people, man. You see? Only a remnant, man. All right? Uh, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4 it says, According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. And now, this is not talking to all nations. You see? This is only talking to the Israelites, man. And the Israelites can only be born an Israelite. You know, you can't be a so-called spiritual Israelite. That's just like me saying I'm a spiritual uh, Chinese. I can't be that, man. So, and this is going into who the Israelites, the, you know, the salvation of the Israelites. It says, according to he, it says, according as he had chosen us from the, us and him from the foundation of the world, that we should be holy as without blame before him in love. <coughs> Verse 5, it says, having predestinated. See, this was predestinated, man. You go into that word predestinated, it, it pre is meaning before. Okay? And destinated, man. Okay? Or uh, preordained. Or ordained. Okay? It says, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Bashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. You see? And this is predestinated before the world, man. So no one truly knows that they're saved, man. But we come out and do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. He said our, our works would not be uh, unnoticed, for lack of better words, man. Okay? Uh, verse 12, it says that we should be to pray of the glory of whom, of whom first trusted in Amashiach. It says, of whom ye also trusted after that ye, ye hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. It says, in whom also after that ye believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That's predestinated, man. All right? Verse 14 which in it is his earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchase possession unto the praise of, the, of his glory. You see? And, and that's that purchase, that's the redeem, a redeeming, man. You see? Because I, 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 we were, we were uh, purchased by Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, but that's why the Lord says, you know, he gonna keep us from that hour of temptation. You know? Now, we, us being the Lord's people, meaning you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but, you know, if you, you know, uh, uh, you know, not, uh, uh, if, like the Lord say, he gonna keep us from the hour of temptation. Now, if you decide that, now that's talking to the, the remnant, the elect, the Lord is gonna keep the elect from that hour of temptation, and that hour of temptation is that mark, man, you know, that microchip that, that's gonna be implemented. Okay? So, if you decide, you know, to take that uh, uh, that mark, you know, you're going to be, uh, you won't be kept, man. The Lord is only going to keep the elect, man. All right? All right. Uh, let's go to the book of, uh, what's that in Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Thirteen and verse 10. All right, uh, this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. It said, wait, verse 9, it said, if any man had an ear, let him hear. So this is a spiritual ear, man, with uh, spiritual uh, wisdom and knowledge, man. Okay? Uh, 
Oh, that wasn't what I was looking for. It's like it. Uh, it wasn't Revelation 13. Revelation 14. Yeah, Revelation chapter 14 and verse uh, uh, 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receiveth the mark in his forehead or his hand, the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the, the lamb is your house shot, man. You see? The Lord is, uh, 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 if you accept this, you know, uh, uh, or you take this uh, microchip, man, this is the uh, uh, punishment behind it. Okay? It's a punishment behind taking this microchip, man. You see? Verse 11. It says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And how and that how is that gonna happen? That's gonna happen by nuclear uh uh uh, uh fire, man. ICBM missiles, man, intercontinentalistic missiles. Okay? Lord willing, you know. <laughs> well, I ain't, you know, it is what it is, but uh Let's read on. It says, and they have, let's, verse 11 again, it says, and the smoke of their, their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You know, that's the three sixes, right? Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that kept the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And, he, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from the henceforth. Ye, uh, it says, ye, uh, ye saints. He said in the, the spirit that they may rest from, the, from their labors and their works do follow them, see? And the works are what? The works are, uh, 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 you know, us coming out and prophesying. We come out and prophesy and tell every nation of people, you know, what's, what, what's their judgment, man? You see? Now, the so-called white man has, 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 uh, uh, has a judgment that coming towards him too, man. Because why? He touched the Lord, the, the apple of the Lord's eye, man. And the Lord's apple of the Lord's eye are the Israelites, man. You see? And people, you know, uh, they thinking that the so-called white man is uh, all good now. And that's, you know, that's what happened in the end time. You know, that was, you know, he was okay with it. Uh, he was all together with it, man. But the Lord tells you, man, he wasn't with it, man. You see? All right? And, and hey, these people who touch the, the apple of the Lord's eye, they, this is what judgment is all about. This is what the Lord is coming back for, man, to establish his uh, rulership on earth, man, and to put the rest of the heathens in subjection under the Israelites, man, and which are your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, okay? Now, we have all been deceived, man, by the so-called white man to say that we are a, a nation, uh, calling us a nation that, that there is no nation. Okay? Uh, reading on. Verse 13. Verse 13. It said, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which, which die in the Lord from henceforth, ye saint. Uh, said it, the Spirit. Uh, <clears throat> that they may rest from the, their labors 
and from their works do follow them. You know, and that's, that's to the men that that died in the truth, or the uh, the uh, you know, the saints that died in the truth. It says, "Ye saints, the spirit that ye may rest from their labors and from their works do follow them." And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one set like unto the Son of Man, having his head and a golden crown, and his head and in his hand a sharp sickle. See, I, I, our Lord ain't coming back to play no games, man. You see? And people don't understand that, man. That the Lord is coming back and he ain't playing no games. Okay? All right, uh, verse 15, it says, And another angel came out of this temple, out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, that says, Thrust in, this, in thy sickle and reap, for the time has come for thee to reap, and the harvest of the earth is ripe. Ooh, that might be this, uh, this might be the year to turn up, man. That what the Lord is that the earth is right, man. You see? That might be this time, man, that's coming. We might be in that time. It says, uh, verse 16, it says, He that set, up, set on the cloud, thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was right. And it's verse 17, And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, and he also having a uh, sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud voice, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, that said, uh, thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her uh, grapes are fully ripe. And that's talking about the elect, man, that the Lord, uh, Lord is going to save the elect, man. See the uh, the angels are gonna work is working, you know, with the Lord, man. Well, under Him, man. All right. Uh, verse nineteen, and the angels thrust his in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine, the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of the Most High. Ooh, I mean the other the two thirds and the uh, the rest of the nation. That uh, uh uh you know in the earth are gonna be uh well mainly here in America you know because it's gonna be some parts that are gonna be saved because the earth like the scriptures say the earth dwells forever man when we say the end of the world we mean it, the end of this this world the the, uh, the this rulership that we're under you see I mean we mean that we're under a rulership that's gonna end man you see. The earth won't be up under a wicked rulership anymore, man. That's why the Lord is going to come back, man, to take this devil out of rulership, man. Okay? All right. Uh, let's read that again. Verse 19, it says, And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the... Uh, gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into a great wine press of the, the wrath of the uh, of the most high. And the and the wine press was trodden without the city. And the blood came out of his wine press even into the horse's bridle. By the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. Okay? That's how the Lord hey. Now this is what I was, I was looking for. Uh, I know. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, now. Now I know one scripture. I was uh, well one Sunday. I guess it had to have been uh, a couple Sundays ago. Now I said uh, this is the one when the two, two police officers came up and talked. You know I knew one of them. You know it was the so-called Negro. You know he loved the so-called white man. Talking about some. You know, he had an issue a time before that when I called, you know, it was a priest walking across the other side of the street. He waved at me, man, you know, and I said, what's up, Esau? 
And he jumped out of his police car, man, looked like he was trying to come over here and bust my head. But I, you know, I wasn't worried about it. You know, I ain't do nothing out of order. He said, that ain't his name. Well, that's his forefather. The so-called white man, his, your forefather, he saw Edom. You know, and a nation of people, you are the, Is the, e the Edomites, man. And the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man are Israelites, man. Okay? But and he was saying, you know, that, you know, uh, how our people go off, you know, uh, how the, the brothers be going off on the so-called white man calling them devils, blah, blah, blah. And I was saying, yeah, they be going off. But I wasn't talking about going off towards, you know, in the scriptures, meaning like they going off on them. You know? Yeah, I eat. You, 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 hey, you have to go off on some of these Edomites, man. You know, some of them, they don't want to take their punishment, man. They don't want to hear the punishment, man. Okay? They don't want to hear what uh, the Lord has judgment for them, man. You see? All right, let's uh, finish this. Uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter uh, 15, verse 1. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven, uh, great and marvelous seven names is heaven, the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up with the wrath of the Most High. See, the seven last plagues meaning the, uh, the completion of this uh, uh, rulership, man. This is the seven last plagues meaning this rulership was going to be uh, uh, over with, man. It says the seven last plagues, man. You see? The last plagues meaning, hey, the rulership is, is this rulership is going to be destroyed, man. You see? All right, reading on. These last plagues, right? Uh, at verse 2, it says, And I saw as it was a, it was a sea of glass mingled with fire. And this is going into, you know, uh, the elect being in, uh, in, uh, in the chariots of the Lord, man. Uh, uh, you see? Seeing the destruction of America, man. Now, not the world, but the earth is uh, uh, about forever. Okay, it'll be this this uh, the, the 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 whore that rides the beast, and the whore is America, man. You see, and the beasts are the uh, the the EU and NATO, man. Okay, the European Union. Okay, that's the that's the beast, man. Okay, reading on. It says uh. And I saw as it was a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Who who get who are the them that getting the victory over the beast? The elect, man. The, the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? Uh, 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 you know, that 144,000. And that elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know? Women, men, and children, man, that are, are part of that elect. Okay? It says, uh, it says, and them that had gotten a victory over the beast, how else do you get the victory over the beast? Beast, By not, you know, because uh, uh, the Lord said he's going to, you know, uh, uh, keep us from that hour of temptation, man. The Lord willing, I'm part of that number. Okay? That's how you get the victory over the beast, man. Because, because that's going to be the last uh, uh, thing that happened, you know, the last prophecy that's going to happen, you know, before uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, comes back. All right? It says, and the mark, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the, uh, having the harps of the Most High. Meaning, hey. Hey, it's going to be a time of uh, 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 rejoicing, man. Okay? Right now, we're not in that time of rejoicing, man. We Right now, we're in the time of, of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, praying and, 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 you know, asking for the Lord to come and take us out of this uh, captivity, man. You see? Because here in America, we definitely in that uh, form of captivity, man. You know, the earth is in that captivity, man. But no one is in that full... Uh, 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 a full mode of captivity, you know, for lack of better words, than the so-called Negro, man. Okay? All right? We're going to get ready to end it up. Uh, 
Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 22. No, chapter 20. It's a lot. Uh, let's start at this Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, the Lord give, have given the earth to the, in the hands of the wicked, man. Now, who's the, who's the wicked? The wicked is the so-called white man. We're starting from the, with the uh, the elite bankers, man. Okay? So let's go to Job chapter 20. Uh, let's start at verse 3. We're going to uh, read it to the end, all right? All right? Uh, Lord willing. Okay? Uh, Job, this is the book of Job, chapter 3, chapter 20, and verse 3. Now, this is talking about the elite that run the earth, man. Okay, this is uh, the uh, uh, the judgment of the elites that run this earth, man, and wickedness, man, what the Lord is going to do to the, the elites, man, you know, and, and, and the rest of the families, man. Okay? Because the elites are going to be saved from this uh, nuclear destruction that's coming to America, man, by the way of... Uh, you see, uh, uh, World War Three. You see, these other nations with the beast is going to go against the whore, meaning the whore is America and the beast is, you know, uh, the NATO uh, EU and, you know, with uh, the Russia, man, as the, uh, you know, the top, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, the front man, basically. Okay? It's the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 3. It says, I've heard the check of my reproach. And the spirit of my understanding caused me to answer, knowing this not of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. See, the triumphing of the wicked is short, man, meaning this devil is only going to uh, reign for, for so long. Okay, it may seem long to us, but like, a, like the scriptures say, hey, a thousand years is only one day to the Lord, man. Uh, 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 you know, how about shoot me out of a shot? Okay, a thousand years... To us, it's only one day to our Lord, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Abishai? Okay? It says the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, man. You see? So this devil is only going to rule for but so long, man. You know? All right, it says, it says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. See? This is the destruction of the rulers of the earth, man. You see? It says, which have, it says, uh, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. It says, ye, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye which saw him shall see him no more neither shall his place any more behold him his children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods and that's going into you know the, uh, the the goods that has been stolen you know from the israelites man you know now you have these these different uh uh, uh these vault banks you know uh with all this gold that the uh the elites have man they they took all these different these these this gold and silver and all these treasures from the Lord's people, man. And the Lord is going to allow, make them bump them things back up, man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 9, it says, The eye which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. You know, mainly America, man. This is the place you know, this is the head, uh, 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 I can't, well, I, this is his cash cow, basically. The elite's cash cow. It says, uh, his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, of, of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, Though he hide it under his tongue, 
though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his bowel shall is turned, and is the gall of ass within him. He shall swallow down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast him out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the flood, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be that he shall not rejoice therein. Because he have oppressed and forsaken the poor. Because he have violently taken a house. He have violently taken away in house which he built not. Surely he shall not feel the quietness in his belly. He shall not save that which is the which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. Okay, verse 22. In the fullness of the sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Then it says, the fullness of the sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Okay? And right now, he's in the fullness of his sufficiency, man. How's that? He's in the fullness of his sufficiency because he's, you know, he's a, uh, uh, he's, uh, 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 making all these uh, the big companies getting all this money, man. And you know the, the the poor and the mom and pop stores can't survive, man. You see, if some mom and pop stores are still, you know, they probably penny pinching, man, going into their savings to keep their business up and running, man. But right now, Esau even the so-called white man is in the fullness of his sufficiency, man. You see, and you can see that through the uh, all of the uh, things that has been uh, 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 that's in the uh, the graph charts in the uh, uh, the stocks and bonds, man. You know, you see their stocks is through the roof, man. They making uh, uh, hundreds of uh, millions of dollars, man, more than they have done previous before the the pandemic, man. Okay. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every eye, it's like every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. You see? Every hand of the wicked. And if you go back into the, that, 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 that word, the meaning of that word wicked, and it's talking about the laborer. Uh, you know, the laborer out of uh, the poor. You know? The, you know, the poor of our people, man. Okay, the Israelites, but not saying that we 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 a service, man. We come out and prophesy, you know. Okay, to tell what's going to happen in the future, and this is what's going to happen in the future. Okay, it says in the fullness of its sufficiency, he shall be in straits, and then that word straits go back into a difficult time. You know, you're going to be in a difficult time. It says every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. It says when he's about to fill his belly, you see, when he's about to uh, make that, uh, uh, when he's about to, uh, you know, when he's a, when he's chipping everybody or when he's putting that microchip in everybody, the Lord said he, when he's about to fill his belly, okay, he said the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and rain it on him, upon him while he's, while he's eating, while he's getting money, man. Uh, why he's trying to make everyone a perpetual slave. You okay? When he's chipping, okay, yeah, I got this group. I got this nation. I got this country. I got this country. Now it's coming to America. You know? I got a, a big number of people in America. I almost got a million of them. I got more than a million. Okay. How many million of people in America? Uh, I don't know. It's probably like, uh, let's see. Let's see how many people in America. Okay. How many people in America? This is uh, 300 and 
That's what it's saying how many people are in America. Okay? So this devil wants this devil. Well, I know he got to be way more than a million, right? When he got, what, about 20 million or 100 million or 200 million, he's going to be like, yeah, I'm doing good. But the Lord said, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. He shall be in a difficult time. He said, when he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury upon, shall cast the fear, cast, cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating, while he's uh, implementing that mark, that microchip, man. Okay? Verse 24. It said, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And what is that? That's talking about the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. It said, it is drawn, it is his drawn that cometh out of his body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gals. Terror are upon him, man. You see? This devil is not going to have such a, you know, an easy conquest, man, when it comes to this, this truth. I mean, when it comes to his, uh, uh, his new world order. Okay? It says, uh, All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Verse 27, The heavens shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of the wicked man from the Most High, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. You know? And that's what it's going to be, man. As the judgment is read against Esau Edom, man. So we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, stop it right there, you know, and give all praise and honor to Yahweh. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shout a warm to the hopeful elect.